All right, so now we're going to look at what happens when we add a catalyst to a chemical reaction. So the reaction we're going to look at here is going to be the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. So hydrogen peroxide decomposes into hydrogen and oxygen gas on its own, but it can take a long time. But it turns out that this reaction can be easily catalyzed by adding just a little bit of yeast. So I'm going to pour some hydrogen peroxide into each of my containers. Don't need a lot. So there's hydrogen peroxide at the bottom of each one of these. And to one, I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon or so of yeast. And I'm going to pick these up and swirl both of these around. So in each of these cases, we're looking for the formation of bubbles. Now we don't really see it in the one without the yeast because it can really take a really long time for hydrogen peroxide to decompose on its own. So it's not really surprising we don't see much of anything. And the one where we add the yeast, if we stir it around a little bit, and again, if you listen and watch, you can see lots and lots of bubbles foaming up. So look at that. That is all that hydrogen peroxide decomposing. In fact, there's very little peroxide left in this jar at all. So that's what happens when we add a catalyst to a chemical reaction.